Hello friends, this video sets part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exams. Before watching this video, you should have watched sets part 1 to part 6. Now let me introduce you to your new term called singleton set. Singleton set is a set which has only one element. Please note, which will have only one element. For example, you say a set has only one one or set has only element called A, it is a single set or set has only one person called Gupal. So in this case also, it is a singleton set. So let us take some example to clear our concept on singleton set. So this A is a set which has, which is a natural number and you say x minus 1 into x minus 2 is equal to 0. So when you solve, you get x is equal to 1 comma 2. And then you say x is a natural number. Both 1 and 2 satisfy this condition. So x is a. So that means we can say a is nothing but 1 and 2. So here you can replace x by a. So that means a has two elements. So it is not a single term. For single term, there should be only one element. Now let's take the second example. Set b where x is equal to x square is equal to 4. So x is equal to plus minus 2. This plus 2 and minus 2. But we say b is only natural number. So we will ignore minus 2. So b will have only plus 2. Now we say b is equal to plus 2 only one element. So that means b is a single term. Let's take example of c. c is a natural number positive. In any way natural number is always positive. So and x square is equal to 4. So x is equal to plus minus 2. Right. So we are taking positive national number, positive national number is 2. So C will have only one element called 2. So C is also a single turn set. Similarly for D, D is a national number and it says 2x minus 1 is equal to 0 or x is equal to 1 by 2. But since x is a national number, this number can't be taken. So x will have 5 element. Sorry, D will have 5 element. So it is not a single turn set because for single for a set to be single turn, it should have minimum one element. So we have seen that D is having zero element. So D is not a single ten set. So A is not a single ten set. B is a single ten set. C is single ten set. And D is not a single ten set. Now let me introduce to a term called power set. So what is power set? Power set is collection of all subsets of a set. It is nothing but collection of all subset of a set. So let me take one example to clear the concept. So let us have a set which has two elements 1 and 2. Then let me first try to find all the subset. The subset for 1 and 2 is 5 because we know 5 is a subset of all the set. Element 1 is also a subset of 1, 2. Element 2 is also a subset of 1, 2. And the whole set A that is 1, 2 is also a subset of 1, 2. So when you see the subset of 1, 2 is 5, 1, 2 and 1, 2. So the whole collection is called power set of set 1 comma 2. Let me iterate. Power set is nothing but collection of subsets for a set. So here we have taken set A is equal to 1, 2. So for set 1, 2 we have found the subsets. So collection of all the subsets for this is a power set. Also, we will observe that this is a formula which we should remember that if set A for set A, if for set A, N A is equal to M and then we create a power, power set, right? Number of power sets. So the number of power set for this will have 2 to the power M elements. I will take this example. I will show this. So in our case, element, number of elements of A was m was 2. So 2 to the power 2 is equal to 4. So as you observe, the number of elements in this power set is 1, 2, 3 and 4. Right? So hence the formula is proved. We will take one more example to prove this. Here is the example. So we have a set 1, 3, 4. Now we are asked to find a power set. So let us first write all the subset of A. 5 is one subset. 1 is 1 subset, 3 is 1 subset, 4 is 1 subset. Now let's take two elements together. 
one comma three, one comma four, three comma four, and now let's take all the limit together. One three. As we know that in the rows to form, the order doesn't matter, so we have not taken four one because four and one four is all the same. So these are the subsets of set A one three. Let's count the number of element. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So there are eight elements. So the whole collection is nothing but power set of set A. Now let's prove the formula. The formula says that if n of A is equal to m, then n of power of A is equal to two to the power m. So here in this case m for us. The number of element in set M A is three, so M is equal to three. So according to the formula, if you replace M with three, number of power set of A should be equal to two to the power three, and two to the power three is equal to eight. So if you observe, the number of elements in the power set is eight, as we have counted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I hope the concept of power set is clear. Please remember this formula. It's a very crucial formula. And please do remember the concept of power set. Power set is nothing but collection of all subsets. All right. It is nothing but collection of subsets of a given set. Now let me introduce to a new term called universal set. What is universal set? It is a set containing all the elements of a problem under consideration, and it is denoted by U. For example, when we are studying the number system, then for us the universal set is R, all real number. So in this case, the subset can be all prime number, or even number, or odd numbers. These can be the subsets, but the universal set, this big universal set, will be. Real numbers. Take one more example. When we are throwing a die, so we get one, two, three, four, five, six. So these are the only options we get. So in this case, the universal set will be one, two, three, four, five, six. In case of rolling a die, when we toss a coin, so we get head or tail. Correct. So in when you toss a coin, the universal set of tossing a coin will be. Head comma tail. So universal set is nothing but a bigger set which contains all the elements under a problem. So when we say when we are talking about rolling a die, universal set will contains one, two, three, four, five, six because there are only six possible combination in the normal die. When we are talking about a toss, coin toss, we can we have only two option head or tail. So universal set will have head or tail. When we are talking about let's suppose all odd numbers or even numbers. So then we can have all real number as the universal set because real number will have all the numbers. Universal set is nothing but a set containing all elements of a problem under consideration. Let's take one example. So here we are asked to recommend a universal set for one, three, five. So what we can say? So universal set can be any number which is more than this. So we can say that universal set for A can be one. Three, five, six, nine, eleven, till infinity. So we can say that universal set A is all or numbers. Correct. Or if we see this uh, one, three, five is all odd number less than five, so we can create a bigger set of all odd numbers. We can also say universal set of A is all natural number because one, three, five, seven, nine. Eight, seven, it's all natural number. We can also say universal set of A is all all real numbers. So you see, there can be n number of universal set for a given set. So it is nothing but a bigger picture, the bigger set. Similarly, for set B, when you say set B, universal set I can say as two, four, six, eight to the infinite. This can be a all even number, or you can also say All natural number because two four six is also natural number. It's a smaller set of the natural number. So, or here also you can say all real number because all these are real numbers. 
The universal world is nothing but a bigger picture. Similarly, for set C, we can do the same thing. We can create universal set of C as 2, 4, 6, 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. We had only one extra element, or you can say universal set of C is equal to 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11. So, universal set is nothing but a bigger set which should contain at least all these elements. This is example of universal set. It should contain all the element that is in a given problem. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online test, get the best quality study material, study from the best tutor and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.